Hi, and welcome back to this video. This video is going to be a quick run through. One thing I just want to point out. It's this new thing in 2.9 called the sky texture. And I have a very quick scene set up right here. I spent 10 minutes on creating it. But I couldn't actually uh, get myself to bring it out because I could not get the lighting right. So I just kept looking for lighting that would fit. So this one could go and maybe add like a sun. And then something like this would go fine. Sure. Yeah, that we could do that. But it I just could not get the right thingy. The not, not the right HRI. It doesn't fit well. And if I just lit the scene with regular lights it wouldn't look good either so um i scrapped this scene i just completely gave up on it but then i now i'm trying to show you what this sky texture does so if you don't want to light your scene if you do not have the time for it or if you're just lazy here you go sky texture holy crap that looks so much better so Normally, uh, this is something I already set up a bit, but uh, this is what it would look like if you if you just import it regularly. So let's not do that. I I always use an altitude of about ten to get the scene looking better, and you can mess around. So basically, the sky texture it looks like this. If your sun right there, uh, you have your background that looks like this. It, 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 it's, it's fine basically. Uh, you can even put skies in the, uh, the clouds in the sky and you will be fine. It looks good enough as, as like a sky texture. So you don't have to really go to film or and, and go transparent, make your own sky. You can just leave it in there. So uh, what I did is just tweak it a little bit rotate rotate the sun to your will just like that for example so that uh, everything is lit well and it goes with a dramatic effect basically you don't have to do anything it does already looks pretty good let's pull back this one so tweak around a, a bit uh, maybe increase the sun size that will give you those softer shadows right there for example uh, I'm, uh, it's only available for EV for cycles, so that's one thing. If you if you're an EV artist, you might not. This might not be of use. So what you can do? There's a lot of shit you can customize on here. Like when you want a more Fortnite-ish look, you just crank up the ozone, and there you go. Have your saturated thingy, and maybe maybe go ahead and lower that altitude to to to. to 10 crank up that ozone there you go fortnite ish look or crank it down and set your thingy to one this is how it how it's supposed to look like according to blender when you're not floating 10,000 feet in the sky uh so but i like to keep it that way 10,000 feet in the sky please uh you can elevate your sun so if you want to the light to come right from above you can do that looks a bit weird sometimes so uh, I tend to not use that um, I always put it back to 15 about 15 but it really helps out so this sky texture it's easy lighting it's quick it, it doesn't let you down yeah well that's all I have to say basically 